Hi, it's Zach here and welcome to our 8th unit in our Wizards Java game course. In this, what we're going to do is create a shooting system for our game. So basically we can run around our world here and we can use the mouse anywhere we'd like to click, point, and shoot a bullet. Or I guess what I would call this is a spell in this game. So let's go ahead and just begin. So what I'm going to do is create a new class. I'm going to name it Bullet. And I'm also going to create another class here, and I'm going to name it Mouse Input. So just like our key input, we need a mouse input, and I want to extend our mouse adapter. Control Shift O to import it. Um, oh, I spelled it wrong. All right. And in our mouse adapter, I want to say public void mouse pressed. And in the parentheses, mouse event E. Control Shift O, import that. So essentially, what we're doing here is this is a method that is used by the mouse adapter when we initialize a key, uh, a mouse listener. So just like when we put our key input and we had to initialize a key listener, right here, we're going to do the same thing with the mouse listener. I'm not going to do it just yet. Let's go ahead and get the bullet set up. So in our bullet, I'm going to extend game object. I'm going to add in all of our unimplemented methods here. All right. And for collision purposes later on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put our handler object right into the right in here. So handler handler this dot handler equals handler. So if you don't want to actually keep doing this, technically we all of our game objects have some sort of collision. So if you actually want to put the handler um, into our actual game object abstract class, so it's automatically in there, you can definitely do that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep it how we are, how it is right now. In our tick method, we're going to say x plus equals velocity x, y plus equals velocity y. And then let's go ahead and draw it. So I'm going to say g.setColor, color.green. And then g.fillOval, x, y, and we'll make the width 8 by 8. So let's go ahead and return a new rectangle for our collision, x, y, 8, and 8. And now we're pretty much set up. So in our mouse input, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to when we click create that bullet so let's look at our parameters here we need our handler class when we are going to create the bullet so in our mouse input be safe to say that we need to implement our handler as well into here so in the constructor of our mouse input we'll also put this in the parameters and we'll say this dot handler equals handler all right so now in our mouse pressed what we're going to do is we need to get the x and y coordinates of our mouse when we click. So I'm going to say int mx for mouse x equals, and I need to cast this to an integer. And we're going to say um, e.getx plus our camera.getx. And I guess we need to implement our camera as well. So private camera camera and we'll say this dot camera equals camera so we'll copy this paste it down get y and then our camera dot get y we're adding to the camera because with MX and MY, it doesn't translate the actual X and Y positioning of our mouse. So if we're all the way to the right, let's say we're all the way across the level and we click in the middle of the screen, it's still going to show the coordinates of like 500X and um, like 250Y rather than it being, you know, like 1500X and, you know, uh, whatever the same Y is, right? So that's why we add the camera coordinates. 
So now what we need to do is create the bullet on our actual player. So we need to go ahead and go through our for loop again. So i equals zero. i is less than handler dot object dot size i plus plus. And then here we can say game object temp object equals handler dot object dot get i. And then here we can just check the ID. So if temp object that get ID equals ID equals ID dot player, then we can go ahead and create that object or the bullet object, right? So we'll say handler dot add object new bullet, and we'll say our temp object dot get x. And here we're going to say plus sixteen temp object dot get y plus 24 and then we need to add in our ID so ID bullet and then our handler okay and essentially what we're doing here why we say plus 16 and plus 24 is because if we didn't put that in this just brings it to the center of our actual player object because if not then we'd be shooting from the top left corner of our player which just looks weird so another parameter we actually need to set in here is our int mx and our int my because what we essentially need to do is translate over the coordinates of our x and y so we can put into the bullet hey where does the bullet actually want to travel to so in our bullet in the constructor we can just set our velocity x and velocity y to those coordinates so I'm going to say velocity x equals mx minus x divided by let's say 10 and velocity y equals my minus y divided by 10 and you can put this this is just the total travel time that it takes so this is like essentially the speed at which it's going all right so now we in our game we can add our mouse listener here so we can put it right here this dot add mouse listener new mouse input and here we need to put in our handler and our camera so if we go ahead and run the game and start shooting as you can see now we have shooting in our game just like that very very simple so let's go ahead and make a quick collision so that we can't actually shoot through blocks so in the tick method here we're going to just create another for loop i is less than handler dot object dot get or no, I'm sorry dot size i plus plus and then here we'll say game object temp object equals handler dot object dot get i and then here we can just say if temp object dot get id equals id dot block then we'll just use our simple get bounds method so if get bounds dot intersects with temp object dot get bounds then we can just destroy it so handler dot remove object this and this is pertaining to this instance of our bullet so just like that now if we shoot and it collides now we can't actually go through our blocks so just like that we've made a really simple shooting system it's really cool so now we have the ability to add enemies into our game and destroy them with our bullets.